Welcome everybody to race number 19 of the National Throwback Series. We're here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Cole Sampson is on pole for tonight's race. There is your full qualifying results. And about to get the race command here. Here it is. Crank them engines. All right, engines fired up. We are ready to go. Field is rolling. So, right now, Kenny Johnson. He is our current points leader, leading it by 28 points over Ash Curtis. Richie Hiroshi is third, losing two spots. Chapman, with his third win of the season, jumps him up to fourth. Max Anderson drops one spot down to fifth. Alexander Rowe remains in sixth place. Snow Chaser drops two, he is seventh, or she is seventh. Sam Curtis down one, he is eighth. Eric Monaco goes up one, he is ninth. And Colin Bear losing one, he is tenth. Jordan Newman was the biggest mover, gaining ten spots. And Noodles and Tim Randolph lost the most, losing seven. Dropping to 30th and 31st. All right, getting ready to go green here at the Lowe's. Race car is coming in. Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway. Cole Sampson will come around and easily lead lap number one. Brad Cheston second, Riley Sampson third. Davison is up to fourth, side by side here for fifth. Will Cox be on the outside line? Nope, nearly up against the wall there, sliding up. Riley Sampson in the third place, going for second. Side by side here. Not quite, Cheston still has the spot. Could run off the top lane. Brian Rodriguez is on the move here. Three wide once again, this time he's on the bottom. Got some help down the back straightaway. I mean, he's up to fourth. Brad Chesson in the three. Right on the back end of that 97 car. Looking low here through one and two. Not quite there yet. Looking to the bottom once again through three and four. Side by side through the quad oval. Then Cole Sams will still lead the lap and he does. Could be our first lead change of the race. And here comes the 25 car as well. Colin Cropley in the seven. Coming off pit road. Three wide for third. Seven car coming back down to pit road. Right on nearly front of the leaders. He had a tire go down. And now he's got more issues. Riley Sampson wants that lead. Ryan Butcher in a 10. In third. And the 25 car will be our third different leader as he leads that lap. Mm -hmm. 
lot of drivers are still two by two. Cast Cropley, whoa, that's a dangerous merge. Nearly collided with Joseph Curtis in the 11. Yeah, some drivers being held back from that seven car. Got a few three wide battles going on. Tim Randolph in the 77 way up high, but he's able to clear both of them. The double zero car is up to second. And caution is out. First caution of the night. I think these guys are still racing the back. I heard the car slow down, except for our leader, so I wasn't too sure. But here they come. The double zero's got to run on the low side. Not going to make it, though. We'll still try to attempt the pass, but the 25 of Samson will take the yellow flag. First caution of the night. Let's take a look at the replay. So let's take a look here. Brian Rodriguez in the 27. He was making moves early on the race, but he dropped all the way to the 17th. There are three wide. There's Kenny Johnson. There's Chapman. Two of the drivers who are in the top five. So Rodriguez gets turned into the wall through the quad oval. And then you got the oncoming driver first to seven. Then the 83. Upside down he goes. Does not go barrel rolling at least. Bracken in the 15 car. Wyatt Cole in the 48. Also involved. So a big wreck here. The couple of cars involved there. Monaco's car is destroyed. Let's go on board here with the 83. Yeah, car crashing in the quad oval. Horse place to crash. Because he got two kinks. The car is sliding up through the racetrack, right in front of traffic. Yeah, that wasn't going to work. So, pretty big flip there for the 27. Let's go on board here with Kenny Johnson in the 74, our points leader. Didn't get too much damage in the 8 car, who's on a roll right now. Yeah, first into the 27, then into the 8. That's what triggered the wreck. Then run the, well, not a very good spectator view of it too far. But, maybe from here. Yep. So Hodak missed it. Cropley did not. 83. And nearly lands on top of Bracken in the 15 car. He goes on the outside wall head on. After making contact with the 48. So our first caution of the night. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. Getting ready for the restart. Three cars currently out of the race. 39 drivers remaining on the racetrack. Riley Sampson is our current race leader. Riley Sampson is currently 12th in the point standings. Looking to get at least in the top 10. Still a chance for the championship too. Here we go. Green flag waving, back underway. Nicholas Chuit in the five, moving up to third on the restart. Brad Chesson wants that spot back, and Snowchicker wants that lead. Side by side here. And this time, the double zero will get it. Three car looking low. Cheston was running pretty well in the cup race at Kansas. Had a good shot to win. Right now running in second, looking for a win in this series. Looking to win in anything at this point. Kyle then currently in fourth. Riley Samson has dropped to fifth. Lucas Chuit in the five. He wants that second win. 
side by side here for a second. That would have been Cheston at the line. Very close. Kyle then retaking fourth. Now up to third. So we got all the manufacturers running one, two, three, Pontiac leading, Chevy second, Ford third. No dodges in the year 2000. So it's just three. The double zero one early in the season at Gateway. They've been running pretty good too, so far. Seventh right now. They lost two as Calvin makes a move. He clears the five car for second. So there's still some time left for these drivers. Even though after the after we're uh, done with this. Only going to be four races to go as Juit in the five car gets into the back of the 98. I don't think he uh, liked the way the 98 passed him through one and two and nearly rode him up the racetrack. Well, he did ride him up the racetrack. Five car sending a little message to the 98. As now the five car will make a move this time. Whoa, here we go. Nearly four wide. There are four wide contact, 21 and 25 going around into the wall. Oh, the one car, David Davison, just catches the uh, 25 O'Reilly Sampson. Four cars incoming. Oh, careful now. All right, yellow is out. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, let's take a look here. Casey Nanak going to 26, made a bonsai move to the inside to make it four wide. Four wide at Charlotte is just, yeah, that's not going to happen. These three are already leaning against each other. And Michael Hoax was running so well tonight and gets involved in another crash. But this time he didn't get the worst of it. Gets into the inside wall, doesn't get hit by anybody else, but Riley Sampson was the unlucky driver, was just a leader, just a couple laps ago and just like that he is out all right let's ride the front uh, cam of the one car Davison see up ahead right off the exit of four so it just catches him and he also gets uh, pushed by uh, Josh King I think was behind them Spacks the outside wall too. Takes another big hit. And Michael Hoax in a 21. Even though he didn't get the worst of it this time. Still, he's involved in the crash. We'll send him back. Tim Randolph was the other driver on the lower middle. Yeah, there's absolutely no room. Even three wide is a little tricky. Four wide is definitely not going to happen. All right, so that's our second yellow of the night. We'll take you back to the restart. All right, getting ready to go green. So, uh, Colin Baron of 53 is also out of the race. Was there another crash? Oh, we gotta wait and see that later. Okay, here we go. Base car is in. Here we go for the restart. 11 to go when I take the green flag. Alright, green flag is out. We're back underway. Yeah, it looks like there was another wreck. You can see there's skid marks through 1 and 2. So I'll we'll have to look back on that. As here comes Calvin. In the 98, these two have already won a race. Calvin, he's going 
going for all of it. Going for glory, I guess. Been a rough season in both series. So he's got up to second, but here comes Ryan Butcher in the 10. Another driver who's not won. Ryan Butcher has yet to score a top 5 finish too. However, well, he's 22nd. So he's mid-pack, midfield, that 10 team. A dominant car in those days. As he's now looking for second. Tim Randolph in the 77, going for third here. Whoa, slight contact. Oh, right across the nose of the five car. Just touches the inside wall. Careful margin back up into turn one. Don't wipe out Andrew England here. Just a little tap. Here's Sam Curtis in the 87. The 87 has fallen back. So Sam Curtis in need of a good run. He's currently eighth. Looks like he's going to be tough to beat. Sam Curtis, but right now he is in a not too good of a position. Eighth place, yeah, but uh, when you look at the stats, it should be a little higher, but then you look at the average finish. So Sam Curtis in needing of a top five or a top ten. Hope to get one tonight. Get here, slow car. 43, Ruby Anderson. Looks like he was one of the drivers who crashed in one and two. Definitely gonna be a tough one for the leaders as he is super slow. See how they react. Alright, they're gonna catch him on the back straightaway at least. Makes it easier to pass. As the top three easily blow by. Blow out the rest. And the rest get held up. Look at the five car gonna power drive on the top lane and get all those spots. And oh, here we go. And they're wrecking. Double zero gonna race it back to the line here. I think that'll be it. This race will end on a yellow. Only the caution came out right before. But it looks like Snow Chaser is going to win another. Will also be under caution. And there it is. Alright, let's take a look at the replay. So, extremely slow car getting in the way here. Causing the last yellow. You can see the 3, the 59, and the 20. All get together. Tim Randolph into the back of the 20 car. As those three go for a spin. But it looks like no one else was involved in that one. Was that a pack is cleared already? So let's go on board here with Nick Holiday. Right in the middle of it. Gets into the three car. Can't get off. Called it a 20 as well. So pretty much all got stuck together. So it's a pretty small crash, but still a caution, of course. And I guess we could take a look at that wreck from before, see what happened to those guys. So coming, or after the uh, caution waved, uh, Ruby Anderson, Jordan Newman got together in one, slide it back up. Chris Sang and Parker Smith just avoided it, just a scratch. Joseph Curtis collected, and here comes more. Josh King in the 17. And then the 53, nearly flipping over Ruby Anderson. Gets him right on the driver's side. Big hit there. But still continued. You would expect the driver to retire from that crash. And he, sh he should have. He was just painfully slow. End up causing the last caution of the night. Go on board here with the 53. That was almost head on there. If Josh King uh, didn't uh, help redirect that car. So that's what I've been back on lap 21. Alright, so race one under yellow. So we'll take you to the finish. 
So it's gonna be win number two for this double zero car, Snow Chaser. We'll take it. Ryan Butcher, Cowboyton, Nicholas Jewitt, and Cole Sampson. Top five finishers. And here they come to the caution and checkers. Checkers in yellow. And there you have it. Check a snow chaser. Wins at Lowe's. Alright, let's take a look at the full race results. So there you have it. So for the rest of the top ten, Stephen Oak 6th, Sam Curtis 7th, Parker Smith 8th, Mitchell Hod or yeah, Mitchell Hodak 9th, and Andrew England 10th. Here are the rest of the race results. 35 drivers finished tonight's race, 34 on the lead lap. Only three cautions. And not too many big wrecks. Majority of the drivers finished the race. Uh, so a lot cleaner than the cup race we had here. And uh, yeah, overall it was a pretty average race. And not much to say after that. We'll now take you to victory lane.